Hi, so we have one problem to solve related to geometric progression and in this problem we have to insert three geometric means between 486 and 6. So this progression including those three means will be the first term of the progression will be 486 right and last term will be 6 and in between we will have three means let me call them as M1 m2 and m3 right and including these means this will be a pattern of five terms which should be a geometric progression then only these means will be called geometric means right so this if we call it as first term it will be written as a and m1 will be written as a r m2 will be written as a r square and m3 will be a r cube and the 6 which is actually the fifth term of the pattern will be written as a r to the power 4 right so what is the total number of terms over here total number of terms are number of geometric means which is 3 plus 2 because we have 486 as our first term and 6 as our last term so together they make 3 plus 2 5 terms right and here we have a as equal to 486 and we have a r to the power 4 as equal to 6 right this is our first equation and this is our second equation and if I do second equation divided by first equation we will get a r to the power 4 divided by a is equal to 6 divided by 486 right so a and a will get cancelled and here we will have 6 ones are 6 6 8s are 48 and 6 ones are 6 right so from here we will get r to the power 4 as 1 by 81 right and this 1 by 81 can be written as 81 can be written as 3 to the power 4 and this 1 can also be written as 1 to the power 4 so from here we will get 1 by 3 whole to the power 4 right so from here we will get the value of r as 1 by 3 or minus 1 by 3 because we have 4 as the power of r which is an even number so the value of r can either be positive or negative right now we have found the value of r and here we have the value of a right and now I think we can find value of all these means so now let me note down the value of r as plus minus 1 by 3 over here right so if I remove all this and now we can do our calculation so our first mean which we are calling as m1 is equal to a r value of a is 486 and if I take the value of r as plus 1 by 3 it will be 3 1s are 3 3 1s are 3 3 6 are 18 and 3 2 are 6 so the value of a r will be 162 and this is when r is equal to plus 1 by 3 and if I take the value of r as minus 1 by 3 first mean will be 486 divided by minus 3 and this will be equal to minus 162 right so this is the value of first mean and now let's find the value of second mean which is m2 and its value over here is a r square right so value of second mean will be 486 multiplied by 1 by 3 whole square right and this will be equal to 486 divided by 9 9 5s are 45 9 4s are 36 so the value of second mean is 54 and this will always be plus 64 because here we are using the square of r and even when the value of r is negative when we do the square of a negative term we get result as a positive number right so the value of second mean is 54 right and now let's find the value of third mean which is m3 
this is equal to a r cube and its value will be 486 multiplied by if I take r as plus 1 by 3 it will be 1 by 3 whole to the power 3 and this will be equal to 486 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 right and 3 1s are 3 3 6 are 18 3 2s are 6 3 1s are 3 3 5s are 15 3 4s are 12 3 1s are 3 3 1s are 3 3 8s are 24 right so value of m3 when r is positive or plus 1 by 3 is equal to 18 and when I take the value of r as minus 1 by 3 we will get a negative term in the denominator and value of third mean will be minus 18 right yes we will get two set of means or we will get two set of patterns where if I take r is equal to plus 1 by 3 I'll get pattern as 486 162 54 18 and 6 right and if I take the value of r as minus 1 by 3 I'll get a pattern where first term will be 486 second term will be minus 162 third term will be plus 54 and fourth term will be minus 18 and fifth term will be 6 right so these will be the two patterns and these will be the two sets of means one we will get when we take the value of r as plus 1 by 3 and the second set we will get when we take the value of r as minus 1 by 3 right so in next video we are going to take one more example to find the geometric means so bye bye till then